Yetta, why are you so excited about the coming year? Because I know that every year is better than the year before. That's what I have faith for. Wow, you have faith that you know. You sounded so certain. I am. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. And so we're excited that for over 30 years and over 3,117 times with clients, we've been able to help them build their wealth, build their fun, build their faith, and even strengthen, heal, and flourish inside relationships. Really, 30 years of building faith, home, and money. Mm. Kind of cool, right? Yeah. And so as we're looking at what are we going to discover, what are we going to discover that as we sit in the certainty with our faith, we have faith in what lies ahead being even better than what lied behind us. That didn't sound very laid. good. That laid behind <laughs> us. Um, it actually will take on a life of its own. If I believe it's going to be worse, it's likely going to be worse. Self-fulfilling prophecy. It is a self-fulfilling prophecy. That doesn't mean hard things aren't going to happen. Like, have you ever had faith for an incredible year ahead? And then the year was actually tougher than you had anticipated. And yet, what if you believed it was going to be worse? How much worse would it have been? Right? So yeah. it doesn't stop hard things from happening. No, but it stops us from living in fear and not trying anything. Right? right. The faith that we'll be in a better situation next at the end of this coming year than we are now gives us the faith to go forward in action. So right now, do you have faith that the coming year will end and it will be, you'll be in a better situation than you are now? Or do you fear that things are going to get worse? Because you don't have faith that things are getting worse. You're going to have fear that things are getting worse. You're going to have faith that things will be even better. And so our, what we think, because what we think is often not true anyway, right? Like we can't believe our own thinking a lot of the times. <laughs> and when I got that, we can't always believe our feelings either. It doesn't mean we don't feel them, but they're, and they're not necessarily telling us the whole truth. Or serving us. Or serving us, but not necessarily even like when mm -hmm. I feel frustrated with you and then I think, ah, I can't do this anymore. If I think that, I don't do that very often anymore. You're but scaring it, me here. <laughs> when I feel that or even think that, that's just me out of control for a few moments. And you know that one of my favorite quotes is out of my mind back in five minutes. Mm -hmm. And if I can get back in five minutes, that's pretty darn good. Yeah. Right? Like that's pretty awesome. And so we can't always believe what we feel. We can't always believe what we think there. Yes, we're experiencing it and it may not be really the truth well, most and of, it may not be serving us. Yeah. Most of the things that we think we're making up. So we might as well make up good stuff. Exactly. Might as well make up a good story. Right? So we might as well make up that this year, or this month or this quarter, because I love to look at our mm -hmm. life both in a year thing, in a quarterly, in a monthly, mm -hmm. and down to the week. And then we look at every day, what are we going to, what divine appointments are we okay, going to have today? you're scaring me with that micro, putting it down to the micro point. It's what we do, though. Yes, it is. And right now, we just want to ask you, you know, think ahead. Will your relationships be better, even better? Will you have new relationships? Will you have deeper relationships? Mm. Will you have better vitality? Will you have better brain thinking? Will you have a better body, a body in better shape, but less, less pain, less uh, fatigue, whatever More whatever flexibility, more, more flexible, agility, more, more strength, right. more energy. You know, will you have more money? Will you have more income? Will you have less expenses? Those are the kind of things that we generally look at the coming year. Right. We will we give away even more money? Mm -hmm. Will we have even more fun? Will we have even more experiences, like good experiences, because we have some that aren't awesome too. <laughs> will we have even more leisure time with those that we love the most? Yeah. Will we have opportunities to spend more time with our clients at family gatherings? 
I mean, because of COVID, for a few years, we couldn't have them. Mm -hmm. And then this year, we thought, okay, we'll stick with two. And then we thought, no, 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 we can do three. Because we enjoyed the other two so much. We'll do three. And then we found out that the venue isn't ready for us to use their venue because they're still concerned about the impact of COVID. So mm -hmm. we've had two, and now the hope is that next year will be four, mm -hmm. right? Like it's to, it's going to be even better, even more connections, even more fun, even more memories. Like yeah, want to move in that direction. Yeah. And, and one of the things that we really, really have faith in is that our new book, The Life X, Life X or Life Exponential, is going to impact thousands of people for the better. And not for the worse? No, not for the worse. Okay. Reading it, it's going to impact their lives for the better and for the exponentially better. And because of that, one of the things we're offering right now is if you'd like to be one of the first to get access to that book, then just send us an email at together at deckerteam.com. And we'll put you on the list to notify you the date that it will first be available. Yeah, because I'm not willing to put a date out there yet. No. Because I want it to be not my timeline. Because often we've said that when we have a goal, we often don't accomplish it. At least that's been our experience in the timeline that we set. And so then we start saying, well, do we even have faith for that goal? Well, the goal isn't wrong or the vision or the calling. Maybe the timeline was just off. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at not telling you exactly when, because we don't know exactly when. We figure it's a divine appointment as to when it's actually going to be released. Mm -hmm. And so we would love to be able to have those that we adore and that journey alongside us and we journey along be the first to get it in their hands. Yeah, absolutely. And we have goals, and I'm not going to bore you with our goals, but it's important to know that goals should have a quantitativeness to them. Like one of our goals is to help more people build wealth. Well, if we don't say how much wealth or how many people, then if we help one person, then we help more people, right? Which is fine, but maybe our goal is much higher. It is, and, we have and it's faith. better if you have... Specific. Specific. Measurable. So what's the number? I'm not giving it. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm not giving it out on the air. Maybe you'll be one of the people that we're going to help build wealth. But you'd have to reach out to us for that at 613-860-4663. Yeah, it's interesting because you have to have just enough faith to get into action. Mm -hmm. If you don't get into action, you're not going to move forward at all. So it's first to set the goal and then to start taking the action to move you toward the dream, the desire, the calling that you believe God's given you. Yeah. And Yetta has this little quote that she says all the time. What we think will build the life that we live. And so we are honored to be your advocates on this journey of building wealth through real estate and having a life exponential. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team.